For the victims of Danny Masterson, today was a day of reckoning. The former actor and now convicted felon brought to justice. Masterson's two victims, who have not been publicly identified, termed Jane Doe 1 and 2, saw their attacker in court sentenced to 30 years to life. I feel um, really happy that the victims feel that justice has been served. After two mistrials ultimately led to a conviction in May, the former actor appearing in an L.A. courthouse today. Jane Doe 1 today saying through tears, I wish I'd reported him sooner to the police. Jane Doe 2 telling Masterson, you relish in hurting women. It is your addiction. It is without question your favorite thing to do. The reaction from the victims in the courtroom was kind of a mixture of relief, but also s sadness and a lot of just mixed emotions about what had happened. This had been a long road and the uh, victim impact statements about how what this has done to their lives and how this has disrupted them and, and stolen in their joy were were very emotional. So it, it, it was some relief to see what was happening, but I think it was also just an overwhelming moment for them. Sexual assault victims who feel that too much time has gone by. Why should I come forward? Um, is anybody going to take me seriously? Um, you know, um, is it going to be worth it? I, I think what this shows is, yes, there is justice despite all of that. The charges? Two counts of rape dating back to 2003 when the two unidentified victims and Masterson were practicing Scientologists. Masterson, who's 47 years old, could be 77 by the time he gets out of prison, if ever released at all. A long fall from grace for the ex-sitcom star. Mr. Masterson did not commit the crimes for which he has been convicted. And we and the appellate lawyers, who are the best and the brightest in the country, are confident that these convictions will be overturned. Oh, man, see, this is why I didn't want to tell you. You'd get all after-school special on me. <laughs> Masterson once starred as the wisecracking best friend on that 70s show. Alongside co-stars Tova Grace, Mila Kunis, and Ashton Kutcher, the show propelled him to stardom. It's okay. <laughs> You're home now. Get off me, man. No, you let me love you, orphan boy. The accusations against Masterson came to light in 2017, more than a decade after the alleged 2003 assaults. By then, the actor was starring in a hit Netflix show, The Ranch, alongside Ashton Kutcher. Hey, what's up? Who the hell's that? That's Heather. You used to date her. As LAPD took up the investigation, Masterson was dropped from that show. In 2020, he was arrested and charged. Masterson was one of the most visible celebrity Scientologists, a controversial religious group known for its high-profile Hollywood adherents. Celebrities have great importance in Scientology because L. Ron Hubbard, the founder of Scientology, originally stated that celebrities are important, that celebrities set the trends in society, celebrities give you credibility. ABC News spoke to Mike Rinder last fall. He's a former Scientology official who has become one of the church's most vocal critics and the author of a recent memoir about his time in the church, A Billion Years. In response to our interview, the church called Rinder a liar. During the first trial last year, all three women said they were initially hesitant to speak to law enforcement about the alleged assaults because they claim church teachings tell them not to. There is a, a sense within Scientology that it is not only better to keep things internal and handled within the organization, it is tantamount to uh, assigning someone to hell to turn them over to law enforcement and the court system. During the most recent trial that began in April, prosecutors told the jury the evidence will show that they were drugged, also adding intimate details about the alleged rapes, saying Masterson dragged one accuser across the floor by her hair and sodomized another one. The defense countering in their opening statement that the alleged victim's stories are inconsistent and suggested the women colluded over time, adding that the case is people versus Masterson, not people versus Scientology. The women accusing Masterson eventually left the church. 
In a statement provided to ABC News, the Church of Scientology said the church was not a party to this case. The church has no policy prohibiting or discouraging members from reporting criminal conduct of anyone, Scientologists or not, to law enforcement. All allegations to the contrary are totally false. There is not a scintilla of evidence supporting the scandalous allegations that the church harassed the accusers. You know, I think this case has so many personal ties for people. I definitely think it's a positive sign for victims and women who, who want to come forward that if this is a conviction that they're looking for, uh, they might be able to get it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.